Welcome to Mr. Alec Hand's YouTube channel. In this video, you will see a multi-step electrical diagnosis procedure, which will help you diagnose electrical electronics, including multiplex and canvas systems. Uh, be sure to follow all safety precaution and wear your safety glasses. Next procedure is to check for the engine ground voltage drop while the engine is cranking the uh, while the engine's being cranked. So what we need to do is just leave the negative lead on the battery, uh, negative post, and take uh, take the positive and hook it up to one of the uh, good engine ground, which in this case, this bolt would be a good one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna crank the engine over and wash the uh, DVM sitting inside the car. In this test, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bump the starter several times, two or three times in this case, and then uh, uh, we are going to uh, let the engine start over and kind of get an average of how much voltage drop we see between the point from the battery to uh, good known engine ground. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, our average is basically coming out to 0 .1, 0 0.01. Uh, uh, I saw the max I saw was 0 0.02, now it drops down to zero. So what is acceptable value for this is basically anything between 0.1 to 0.3 volts on a car like this, which is, this is a fairly good car and uh, looks like they, it's been well maintained. So it's, it's, it's actually pretty close to zero. It shows zero because the meter averages out the reading as well. So um, uh, the, if, if a car that you're working on, a big old van like a Dodge Ram or something like that that has a longer cable, negative cable, and a bigger starter, it would have, uh, you could you could accept up to 0.5 volts of uh, a voltage drop on the negative side of the uh, um, starting system uh, and the engine ground. So that's what you would, anything above 0.5, you got to discard it. That's where you, the problems could be a high voltage um, in the cable or uh, too much drawing, uh, uh, too many amps drawing or too much voltage drawing uh, starter. Uh, that could be a problem as well. Engine running, we're going to hook up our uh, jump lead to the battery positive post, uh, red one, and the battery negative post, uh, black one, and basically let the engine run and uh, uh, rev it up to uh, 1500 RPM and watch our uh, charging voltage. That's our charging voltage right there. Right now at idle, it's putting out about 13.9697 volts. Let's bring it up to 2000 RPM and see what it does. Or 15, close to, between 15 and 2000 RPM. See how that number start going up? Okay, that's what we're looking at and we're gonna record that. We're gonna measure the voltage drop from the positive power si uh, positive uh, side of the battery to the positive side of the alternator, which is gonna be the B terminal of the alternator. One lead goes to the uh, positive of the uh, engine, and the other lead goes to the positive of the uh, charging uh, charging system, which is the alternator in this case. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure the voltage drop that we have between that point and that point. In this case, we got 0.11 and uh, uh, we got to rev, rev it up to, to about 2,000 RPM. Let's do that. Which, in this case, it stayed there, it didn't go up, so which is a good, pretty, pretty good connection. How much to accept, accept there is, in this test, uh, do not accept more than 0.2 uh, uh, volts drop between the positive terminal of the battery to the positive side B terminal of the alternator. Okay, in this test, we're going to switch the uh, negative lead to the ground side of the battery, which is the uh, ground terminal. And the positive lead is going to go to the uh, ground side of the charging system, which is the case itself. Be careful not to uh, uh, get your uh, cables wound up in the pulley. So we're going to just uh, ground, uh, go to the case of the alternator and uh, bring the engine to 2000 RPM and uh, read, see how much, how much voltage drop we got on the uh, ground side of the charging system. Bring it up to 2000 RPM. In this case, none. The max that you can accept for this uh, test is 0.1. One tenth of a volt. Any anything above that, you got high resistance somewhere in the ground side of the circuit, 
going from the battery to the alternator. Now again, we're gonna ch check the voltage drop between the negative of the battery and a good well-known ground on the engine block. Uh, we have done this step before, but when we did that last time, the engine was cold. Now we're gonna try to do the same thing with the engine warm. Reason for that is the uh, you know resistance changes changes with the uh, 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 temperature. Uh, temperature changes the resistance depending on what temperature you're at or the engine's at. Uh, the resistance will uh, differ. With the uh, leads hooked up for the engine negative side ground, we're gonna bring it up to 2,000 RPM and see how much voltage drop we get on the ground side of the circuit. In this case, the resistance actually is none. What you can accept for this is 0.1. Anything above 0.1, uh, you know you got a resistance somewhere in the circuit on the ground side of the battery, between the ground side of the battery and the uh, engine ground cell. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna move the lead to the accessory ground, just like we did before, but with the engine warmed up now and see what's the uh, voltage drop between the negative post to the accessory negative. With that hooked up, we're gonna bring the RPM again to 2000 RPMs and look at the DVOM. In this case, we got zero, which is a really good reading. Uh, what would be a bad reading? Point above 0.1, one tenth of a volt, above one tenth of a volt would be a bad reading. You, that means you got resistance somewhere between the uh, uh, negative post of the battery and the accessory ground that you're checking. In this procedure, what we're gonna do, we're gonna move the negative lead to the positive side of the battery terminal, uh, and the positive lead is gonna go to the B terminal of the charging system, which is right here, okay, B terminal of the charging system, and then measure the voltage. We, again, we have done this step before, but we're checking it with the engine warm now. This time the engine's warmed up, and uh, uh, we are checking the same thing with the engine warmed up. We're gonna come inside and uh, uh, rave it up to 2000 RPM and see what's the voltage drop that we get on the positive side of the charging system. In this case, we got 0 0.04, which is not bad at all. What is bad? What could be bad is anything above 0.2 volts. Anything above 0.2 volts is, is not acceptable and that means you got a voltage drop between your positive side of the battery and the B terminal of the uh, alternator. In this procedure, we're checking the ground side voltage drop of the charging system. One lead will go to the negative post of the battery and the other one will go to the uh, uh, well-known ground of the uh, alternator, which is gonna be the case itself. But uh, we've done this test before. We're doing it again with the engine warmed up this time. The, the first time we did it, it was when the engine was cold. What happens to the resistance is, resistance changes with the, as the temperature changes. Uh, in this case, resistance should go down, so the max value that we can accept for this should be 0 0.1, 0 0.1 of a volt. Uh, in this case, we got zero, which is really, really good, but we gotta bring it up to 2000 RPM to check if it changes. More voltage flow through the wire, the more voltage drop you'll see, so that's why we need to bring it up to the uh, 2000 RPM. Still good. Procedure, what we're gonna do, we're gonna check the charging voltage, which is gonna be, we're gonna move the leads, black one to the po negative side, red one to the positive side, and check and see how much uh, uh, voltage we get out of the charging system uh, with the engine warmed up. Again, we've done this test before, but we're doing it just to see if it, anything change, changed uh, during the course of uh, engine getting warm. Bring it up to 2000 RPM. Okay, still the same, pretty close, 13.98, which is almost 14 volts, okay, and uh, uh, what could you accept and what could you not accept, okay, uh, the voltage should be between 13.5 and 15.1 volts, if you got anything below 13.5 or anything above 15.1, then we know we have a problem with the uh, uh, charging system, charging the battery up, uh, overcharge uh, could be a problem as well. Uh, and undercharge could be a problem as well. Okay, continuing on with the next procedure, now we're gonna leave the leads hooked up 
the way they were positive to the positive negative to the negative on the battery and what we're doing is with the engine running we're gonna bring it up to 1500 rpm but at this time we're gonna uh, turn on all the accessories uh, blower blower motor on the AC all the way to the high uh, radio on and AC on and also the wipers going with the high beams on uh, um, and um, uh, possibly step on the brakes to turn on the brake lights and check and see what we get why is the voltage dropping in this case well because everything else is using up the voltage that's been produced by the uh, voltmeter uh, by the uh, alternator excuse me uh, uh, alternator is producing uh, amps and voltage but everything else is running so it's dropping De demand and supply the voltage uh, um, should be between 13.4 and 13.8 or maybe around 14 volts. Now in this final step we turn all the accessories off and we just uh, leave the leads hooked up to the battery positive and negative uh, uh, and check the voltmeter for overcharged condition. Uh, anything above 15.1 or above volts uh, indicates uh, bad regulator in the charging system and that could literally hurt any of the computer components that will run them at, at a higher voltage so in this case we do not have that problem anything above 15.1 uh, uh, and also on the underside it shouldn't go down below 13.8 which we do not have that problem thank you for watching this video uh, uh, please subscribe and see if you can benefit from these videos this is uh, this is just a, a free of cost video for all my students or anybody who can benefit from this. Okay, this brings us to the end of part one. Be sure to look for uh, part two in my channel and subscribe it for the electrical diagnosis. Thank you.